So, it has some things that may have been too high for me. It has some things that may have passed over my head. It has some things that I see the brethren do and, and I just can't understand that because the culture and minds is an error. Hmm. Uh -huh. Because Paul came from a different kind of culture. Hallelujah. You see, when Paul came on the scene, if I may speak about Paul and them I want to say, brethren, that the disciples did not at first accept it. That's right. And when Paul came and, and he saw Peter preaching, uh, and they went back to the camp, and Paul see that the same thing Peter telling the people, don't do. Paul, Peter was doing. Paul, Paul just didn't understand that. Yeah. So he said, listen, let me, let me, let me take myself out of this thing and say, listen, it has some things that I just don't understand. I want to say to us today, it is okay to not understand everything. Hallelujah. But Paul said, listen, I, 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 I want to say, but this one thing. It doesn't have to be much to confuse me. It doesn't have to be more and, and fighting. You see, I have to be declared nothing. I don't even understand what I just said. I see, I have to be declared nothing. But this one thing. He said, here what I'm going to do. Forgetting the things. Step to faith. Today you stand in the balance. Yes. Yes. In the year number one. You dump up the follow ground. And you start to put on your foundation. I want to tell you, putting the foundation down is not easy. I've been there. Oh,
we don't let go, if we don't not only let go in or forget. That's right. All right. Okay. 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 Mind. You want to fight, you want to cuss, you study, I should I tell him, 
I should have tell she. I should have picked she. God said, look at that. Hmm. Because that is not for you to fix. What you need to do is go to God. What you need to do when you realize that there are some things you cannot forget and so you cannot move forward. You are not going to go. I share my hands to thee, my Thank you. 
set protocols. I give a special greetings to Reverend Rivera and the members of Set to Faith Spiritual Baptist Church. My name is Bishop Marlon Jones. I am known to some. And I am from the Compassion Spiritual Baptist Church in Barbados. Happy to be this evening. Our assistant pastor, Reverend Odin Jackman. Hallelujah. Our captain, Mother Pointer. Mother Anne. Deacon Stacy. Yes. Captain Trina. And Shepherdess Ali. And we bring you greetings from Barbados. Our folks were in St. Vincent and they met up with Reverend Guerrero and he impressed them. He made an impression upon them. And they said, we want to preach at your, our anniversary. I didn't hesitate because I trust their judgment. And he said, no problem. And he came and he did what God expected him to do. Amen. And we had a wonderful time in the Lord. Amen. But for today, Reverend Guerra, I sang that song because it is your journey. It is my journey, and it is the journey of every child of God. Because sometimes we find ourselves going through the shades of death. Sometimes it's hand in spite of all our foes. You know, sometimes he spread a table for us in the midst of our enemies. But the important thing about this journey is that we never turn back. Because the sure provisions of our God attend us all our days. So sometimes we worry, why do I have challenges? Why do I have problems? Because something, the challenges that we face are part of our development in God. So I just want to encourage you and the members of Step to Faith. Our mother spoke about the number two. And sometimes when you deal with the child, you hear about the terrible twos. You know, the time when the child would you know, want to be on his own and, you know, want to keep, lie down on the floor and keep noise and sometimes they just got to ignore them. They got to leave them because they are fighting for their independence. So I want to encourage you because you are doing a work for God. And that is the important thing, for God. So I want you to fear not now, fear, his arms are near. And one of the things that, one of the mottos that we had when it was at my father's home, that we were into construction, we were into building, and we were looking, financial challenges came. But we always say, don't worry, money will come. So I want to encourage you as you seek to build your own space. We are in that condition right now. We are looking to build our own space. But I can assure you that God will give you the capacity to achieve all that he wants you to achieve in Jesus Almighty. Amen. 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 You know you want your soul when people even know us is to come, right? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bishop Shalom. <laughs> Jesus, hold me right now. Oh, Jesus, hold me right now. Hold me right now. Jesus, hold me right now. You start it down. Praise the Lord. Two years. Walking twice. Hold me right now. Jesus, hold me Oh, oh, oh. 
ask him God to bless that I believe we should pick up our collection. And you see that we that our collection should pick up to put the ones together on the
So my husband said, you like, you guys are busy. <laughs> Not true, Bishop? Everything. Not all right, you're like yeah. these people in church. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, I'm very, very cautious about this people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that he's doing. That's all. My husband, he replies me. I understand. But he took to the spirit that you carry. And I say all of this not to expose your business, but to say that you carry a certain kind of character, anointing, and presence. And I want God to help you to ever remain in that kind of vibration. So that as you meet people, as the ministry grows, as he multiplies those whom you have care and authority over, as he sends the ministry into the highways and the byways, that he would maintain that humility of character. That he would maintain that reach that you're able to embrace no matter who the person is, whether you know them or you don't. Because so many people, as God expands our anointing, we forget who we are. To steps of faith, I want to encourage you to value who you have. Oftentimes, we get accustomed to people's anointing. And when we get too familiar with a person's anointing, we think we're on the same level. I just want to caution the church because the church name says steps. And some of us be trying to skip steps. Oh, yeah. But I just want to encourage the church, whether you belong to Steps of Faith or another ministry, take our time. And let us climb up to glory. Take your time and let us build in faith. Take your time and let God give the increase. May God bless you.